Hey guys, Chef Whitney here again. Thanks for coming back. Today we are going to be making roasted artichokes. For today's recipe, you're going to need fresh artichoke, fresh lemons, butter, salt and pepper, minced garlic, extra virgin olive oil, and preferably you would have fresh herbs. I currently don't have any, so I'm using dried herbs. I have dried oregano and dried thyme. For the tools you'll need today, a chef's knife, kitchen shears, tongs, a pastry brush, a cutting board, a roasting pan, and a cooling rack. If you don't have a cooling rack, you can use a plate. Before we dive into making our roasted artichokes, you need to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. I have already done so. The next step is we need to prepare our artichoke. I have our artichoke, a lemon, my chef's knife, my kitchen shears, and my cutting board. So first, let's go ahead and cut our lemon into quarters. Set your lemon aside, and now we need to trim our artichoke. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna trim the stem. Take about half an inch to an inch off of the stem. Then you will want to cut off the tip of the artichoke. So once you have the tip cut off the artichoke, you're going to need to trim all of the leaves. The little spiky parts, you'll wanna take your kitchen shears and trim them off. Now that we've trimmed all of the leaves, you'll want to remove the leaves from the bottom of the stem. Now that we've trimmed all of our leaves and removed the leaves from the bottom, let's cut the artichoke in half. And now you have the center of the artichoke. This part right here, the fibrous part, you are not gonna wanna eat. So we need to remove that. I find that using a kitchen spoon is really helpful. Make sure to get all of those hairs out. And there you have the two cleaned out artichokes. You'll wanna take your lemon and rub it along all the sides of your artichoke. This will help prevent it from oxidizing and turning brown. So now that our artichokes have been trimmed, cut in half, had the chokes removed, and rubbed with lemons to prevent them from oxidizing, the next step is that we need to rub them with olive oil, season them, add some garlic and our herbs to the center of the artichokes, flip them over, and then oil and season the other side of them, and then they're ready to go straight into the oven. So let's do that. So now the artichokes have been covered in oil, seasoned with salt and pepper, we've added our garlic, which you can't add too much in my opinion, and we've added our herbs. Now it's time to put them into the oven. Remember our oven is already preheated to 400 degrees. So first we will want to cook these for 15 minutes uncovered. Then we will cover this with foil and put it back in the oven for an additional 25 to 35 minutes or until the artichokes are tender. Now we've pulled our artichokes out of the oven and it's time to see if they are ready. So remove the foil and you know your artichokes are ready because the leaves pull off very easily as so. Or your knife, you can check it in the stem, goes in very smoothly and comes right back out, which ours does right now. So we need to transfer our artichokes to our cooling rack. And remember, if you don't have a cooling rack, you can put this onto a plate. If you leave the artichokes on a hot tray, they will just continue to cook and we don't want that. 
And now it's time to make our butter sauce. Turn on your stove. We're gonna use one whole stick of butter. I use unsalted butter, so I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. Add some of the herbs that you used on the artichokes. And of course, some garlic. Once your butter is about halfway melted, go ahead and turn off your stove. Your butter will continue melting from the residual heat. And now you have a delicious butter sauce to dip your artichokes in. If you fancy a nice charred lemon, I've got a whole lemon that I've cut in half, I've turned on my stove, and I'm just gonna place them directly on top. And now you have a beautiful charred lemon for your artichokes. And there you have it, roasted artichokes. Enjoy! See you guys next time.